Hey there music friends and welcome back for another reaction and analysis video. Today we're going to be listening to Love Bites and they're going to be doing their song from the Knocking in Heaven Gates DVD, Liar. I can't wait to hear this one with you today. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts and comments down in the comment section. I appreciate all the background you give me on this group and all the stories. Thank you so much. Well, let's get to this one today. Wow. I hope you don't mind, but I have to stop. Oh my gosh, there was just so much going on there, and I loved it. You know, they, they have a Sami singing at the beginning, this beautiful lyrical line, and then they punch us in the face with all that guitar stuff, and Haruna back there just going to town on the drums. Gosh, I love it. it it's almost like, you know, they're, they're trying to set up What's Coming by Asami just singing that soft, beautiful, almost operatic line. You know, it's like, oh, is this going to be a different kind of song? No, it is not. This is Love Bites. I like that rhythm guitar part. Man, things just kind of stepped up a little bit here with Haruna in the back, just going into a double time feel. But the really cool thing is, even though we have that double time feel going on there, she is being very consistent with that snare drum. She's right there on the beat and it's still going slow enough. So that is kind of the constant through all this. We still have that snare drum keeping that original beat, even though all her other drums, including the bass drum, is doing like a double time. Cool guitar parts. I love that melody. Guitar parts changed here at the beginning. We were just kind of doing maybe a five or six note pattern that just kept repeating. It was on a loop. And now we've kind of dropped down into a lower range and we've got this whole new melody going on here with the guitars. That's that five or six note pattern that I was talking about there in the guitars, just repeating over and over again. Da 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 da.
Jeez. Miyako. What a solo. I loved how, you know, she she plays pattern things and she moves it all around the fretboard, which creates some interesting lines. But I also like towards the end of this solo where she kind of put some syncopation in there where they were kind of stopping in the middle of that that melody. There was just that that pause and that slight pause with that syncopation made it so much more interesting. And uh, I don't know if you noticed back there, but Haruna changed the way she was playing her parts and her fills. She just can't kind of had some like uh, double kind of sounding notes. I would call them like flams. She was putting some flams in where one note is just hitting before the other. And she was just kind of incorporating those in. So cool. It just had such a neat vibe. Double guitars. Like that modulation that we just had there we just kind of went up into a new key and that allowed asami to just go up to that really high note gosh her singing over top of all this stuff it it doesn't make sense yet it does make sense and it gives them that unique sound so cool love those double guitars too miyako and midori jeez and of course fami i haven't said anything about fami but do i need to I mean, the, the young girl is just laying it down. She is a beast. She just plays so well with all these ladies. And she's okay taking that back seat and just being consistent and amazing. And, and that's what you want from the bass player. And again, we change keys. They've just gone through so many keys here in this song. And it's epic. And it makes the music sound so different when you do that. You know, it can it can build it up. It can bring it back down. Aruna, the, the, the engine back there. Gosh, the little engine. She just keeps going and going. Blows my mind how many notes that lady can get in a fill. You know, a fill just kind of helps the band feel where the next part is. And she goes, you know what? I want to do more than that. And she just puts so many notes in, but it's always classy. It's never too much. I love these double guitars too. And Asami, geez, she's really getting up there. What a beautiful voice. <laughs> there we go again. Man, that guitar is so beautiful. And it, it fits with Midori. She's a beautiful lady, too. That simple pattern that they keep playing, that da-da-da-da-da-da, just brings you right in. It's so simple. That would be easy to figure out just watching and listening to this. Um, you know, just watching their hands and just listening to it. I think that would be easy to, to, to copy that. So any guitar players out there, I'm sure you could. I'm sure I could do that, too. That looks pretty easy. Feel the end building. Wow. 
what an awesome ending to that song. What an awesome ending to that song. What a mind-blowing song. Oh my gosh. Every time I hear them, I get so excited. Asami has such a beautiful voice. This song really showed it off for sure. You know, she was able to uh, change keys, go up higher. Her voice is just so beautiful. You know, I, I have trouble understanding what people say in lyrics. That's just generally me. So I don't quite always understand the things that she's saying, and I have to go back and, and look up the lyrics and see what she's saying. But in my mind, I don't care so much. You know, it's, it's, it's awesome when people do care about what they're saying too. But I get so much from the music, you know, just listening to her sing those melodic lines, I could kind of tell what was going on and what she was trying to get across to us, that emotion that she was putting in her singing. I always talk about Haruna back there. That lady is just a beast on the drums. And I don't think she overdoes anything. I think she plays some really complicated things, but it always fits with what's going on around her. And it just adds to what everybody else in the band is doing, Fami and Midori and Miyako. It adds. It never takes away. And that's what a fantastic drummer does. They always add. They don't take away from the band. And they just do a fantastic job keeping the band together. And listening to those double guitars, Midori and Miyako. Every time they play a solo, it's always such fast lines, and they didn't disappoint us in this one either. And just watching their fingers, because we had a nice close-up of that, just blew my mind that they can stay that together. I, I just, it just blows my mind. It's so difficult to do something like that. And then, of course, like I said, the unsung hero, Fami, she's back there, and she's just playing and playing and playing, and she's just enjoying being with musicians like everybody else in Love Bites. She doesn't have to have center stage. She just lays it down with Haruna, and that's what a great bassist and drummer do. They create that whole rhythm section that keeps the band together. They're the glue that makes it all stick together, and they are just beasts, all of these ladies. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to check out the description down below. Help support Love Bites. I have a link down there where you can go and purchase their music and help support them. If you enjoyed this content today and you enjoy Love Bites, all you have to do to watch another Love Bites video is just click on another video you see on your screen. Something you can do for this channel, it's totally free. Hit that subscribe button, become a member of this music community. I really appreciate that. I hope you'll come back and watch and listen to more music with me. I appreciate the time you're spending with me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.